Hi and welcome to Lincoln Chavane Crafts Needle Felting Tutorials. So it's getting towards that time of year when I like to start thinking about pumpkins. I mean it's really never too early to think about pumpkins but at this year in particular and each year I try and do something different. Um, last year we did the, if you have watched my videos, we did the winter pumpkins which wouldn't have looked out of place on the set of Frozen. This year we're going for some big colour so we're going for a fire and ice pumpkin and we're going to add a little bit of glam with some beads. So um, what you are going to need is just a felting mat um, a wool mat like this will be fine. You can use a foam mat. Make sure you use a topper. Um, that's important because it will um, make your mat last 100 times longer. Or you can use a hessian rice mat. Anything that you've got. Because we're not actually going to be flat felting anything. It's just really a nice base to work on. And then just a standard felting needle. Or to speed up the process. Um, you can just. Um, tape or band two together just to to speed it up now I am using for the center of the pumpkin if you have got the wool bundle you will have received this and this is your little box of goodies with everything that you need to make your pumpkin including some beautiful beads to give it that sort of glamorous finish if you haven't, just grab what you need, grab what you've got, you can make anything work. So when we're doing pumpkins, we need a nice soft centre. So I'm using this um, kind of lumpy, car, um, lumpy core wool. And it's not like wool top and it's not like carded wool. It's kind of something in between. It's all sort of been meshed together. And what this does is it creates a really nice centre for a soft sculpture so we can create this beautiful pumpkin shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we go. This is a really chic pumpkin. It won't take long to make and um, it's perfect for any level of needle felter or crafter. So just gather your bundle of uh, core wool together and just start pulling in the sides. I'm going to use two needles just to speed it up but as I said one needle is perfectly fine and we're going to keep this really soft and we can use the needles to draw in that wool and you see how that's just beginning to hold its shape there and don't worry too much about the shape because when we pop the carded wool around it that is going to secure it and create that beautiful shape. So easy to make and so much fun. Um, if you want the wool bundle, I'll pop all the links below. But like I say, all you need is some core wool. You can use wool top, that's fine. Carded wool, whatever you've got will work. Just don't over felt it. I just really like this sort of lumpy core wool because it it's so great to work with when you're doing soft sculpture works really well for mushroom tops and sort of garden bases if you look on my um, channel you'll be able to see my mushroom tutorials in fact there's there's a lot of videos on there. Make sure you subscribe if you want to get instant notifications. And as you can see, pulling all this wool in and that's just starting to hold now. So I'm just going to pull it tighter into the centre. And as you can see, we are not concerned with the shape at all. We just want it to hold in a kind of round, sort of bread rolly type shape. And as you can see, you've kind of got a flat side there. So I'll go back to here and just draw in that wool. And that's all it takes. You're just really tacking it together with the needles. You know, you're not overly felting. And your hands are really important tools. 
because they're going to create the shape and we're almost we're going to really almost have a full size pumpkin here so if you wanted to if you do get the wool pack you can make um a, a couple of smaller pumpkins or half a dozen um um sort of little small ones that you can display in a dish or gift or just make them with um friends and family such a great project to do together because it's so easy and it's really fast it's one of the easiest needle felting projects you can start with really i'll put a, a materials list as well down in the links below so that really is about all we need to do we've got a, a basic shape you could also i suppose right if you didn't want to 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 do it that way you could actually sort of tie string around it to bundle it together but it's just not necessary so the next thing we're going to to use is this beautiful carded wool you can use whatever color you want this is what's in the wool bundles on the website this is it's like a, a burnt fiery red you know with sort of burnt orange it's it's really really beautiful and perfect for for the sort of fire and ice feel so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to stay on the um in on the same side i'm going to lay that wool top well, sorry carded wool sheet and the carded wool it's like a flat sheet you want the wool carded bats not the long lengths just because it makes it easier to wrap around you can use the long lengths, you can use wool top for this, but you'll just need to sort of crisscross to cover all the gaps. So all we're going to do is we're going to take one side, pull that over to the centre, just until it holds. And see, so to pull that in, you want to pull it in quite tightly, but not split it, because you want to, what you're actually doing now is you're firming up and creating that shape and you're going to just keep turning it and you're going to move it around again can you see felting into the center here keep bringing it around and you'll have these little creases which is fine this is going to be the bottom of your pumpkin And if there's any bald patches, we can come back later on and um, the excess that we take off, we can just cover them up. But to be honest, if you've got a little bit showing through, um, I, I quite like it. It um, adds some sort of um, detail to it. Pull this over. You see what I'm doing here? Pull that in. We don't want big lumpy bits, so make sure that we're, we're pulling these bits in so they're nice and flat. Just want to tear that little bit off there. It's a little bit too much bulk. I'm just going to use my fingers just to pull that in. Can you see what I'm doing? Be careful with your fingers here. They're very close to the needle. Use finger guards if you feel happier. I don't use them. I just find they sort of get in the way. And then we'll come around to this side. Can you see what we've got here? It's got a little bit of loose there. Just tack that in. Turn it back over. So I've got quite a bit there. So I'm just going to pull that off. And a little bit more, I think. And pull that into the centre again. So all the felting, all the all the needle use is is in the center because what we don't want to do is we don't want to felt around the actual pumpkin itself we want it all in the middle because we don't want those needle marks to show we want a really nice smooth finish and there's absolutely no need to go around and felt the whole thing as long as everything is holding in the center area that's all you need to do and then you can as well, if you want, you can just sort of squash it and shape it with your hands. But can you see already how that is going to come on? You can see exactly where we're going with it now. 
So that's it. That's our pumpkin shape created in in less than 10 minutes. And this is a full size pumpkin. There we go. Beautiful. So next, what we want to do is add in all these lines so we get this nice puffy pumpkin shape. And what I've got here is um, a, a white wool top and, and wool top I like to use because you can really pull on this and um, it won't break. If you're using carded wool, you have to be a bit more careful, but you can get those really nice long lines. And this is a, a bright white wool I have. Again, this all comes in, but everything I'm using here today will be in your wool bundle if you um, have purchased it from the website. And what we want, we want really thin lines. So we're just going to maybe a little bit much. We'll see. In fact, no, I'll just take a little bit more off there. We want just thin lines of wool top. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay that there. I'm just going to twizzle that just to, to mat it. You can, in fact, you can twizzle the whole lot if you want in your fingers but there's not really any need and just kind of find the center and with your needle just poke that in and that indentation is good because then um, that's where we're going to put the stalk later on and then flip it over and pull that towards the center You can be quite rough on this side, make sure it's nice and firm. And what you can actually do is if you want to strengthen it a little bit, you can just twist that wall. And just make sure they're meeting equally so that all the segments are going to be of equal size. And that's our first one done. And then we take another strip. And we start that. But what you could also do as well is if you start from the base, any excess that is left on the top can be used for the decoration later. I'm just going to show you this way as well. So really firmly in and then just pull that in. Can you see? And the same with the other side, pull that in there and just sort of poke that in with your needles. And we've got these loose bits here. It's entirely up to you how you do it, but we can add those in separately. Depends how much of a, an indentation you want at the top. Again, another strip. Do it from the bottom this time. Just felt that in. If you do it from the bottom, the difference is you can be quite rough and not worry about how, how much you're actually creating that um, dent in the middle. I'm gonna pop that in there. And in there. You can see how that's coming on now. And one more, we've just got one more to go across here. So again, and I really like this bright white wall because the, the contrasts um really really good so i'm just going to 
into the center there so as i said whether you do it from the the bottom or the top really doesn't matter just make sure you pull in the wool top so that it really creates that nice shape missing it there there we go caught it and just pull that in and now we've done that we just want to go around the sides and just check that we're happy with the shape and again we can squish it in to make it a little bit deeper and can you see where we're going with that absolutely perfectly pumpkin shaped already and if you've got any lumpy bits you can just go in diagonally just sort of pop them in with your needle but i wouldn't worry too much about those at all and again you can pull the wool over with the needle as well as long as you don't bend the needle um you know always make sure you're using it straight you know whether it's diagonally straight up and down from the bottom just make sure the needle is straight so it doesn't break but if you use this is a 38 start needle and it's quite um it's quite robust doesn't bend too much so it will take quite a lot of stick and there we go ready for some decoration Now, I think what we'll do first is um, we will make the stalk. Now, you can make the stalk sort of freehand, but I'm going to show you a really simple technique using a barbecue skewer. So you can use anything you've got. And what I want to do, this stalk here, can you see we've got some, some blended colours in there. So I have some, some really nice, this is, um, it's a wool top, but it's got silk fibres in. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to blend some white and some orange that we had left over. And I'm just going to blend that together just by hand. Uh, the dog slicker brushes are really good for this as well. If you're doing this a lot, if you're doing a lot of blending, you can just use the the dog slicker brushes you see that's going to create some nice texture and then also here I have some beautiful this is um Tussa silk and if you blend that with your wool then it creates a really nice sheen And just adds a little bit more texture to this lovely wall okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of roll that so it mats together a little bit and then I'm going to hold it onto the onto the stick here and I'm just going to wrap that around and then put your fingers either side make sure you don't poke the stick or if you do you know don't go in too hard just go in gently just to get that wool holding and then you can continue to wrap that around nice and tight you see all those lovely different colours there? As I say, you can just roll this up and do it freehand. You don't need the stick, but I just thought I'd show you a, a different technique to create the stalk. And that's holding on rather nicely. And then keep it going. Let's see how that's going to look, yep. Take it a bit further down. If you use your thumb and your finger there as well, you'll stop it from running down the stick. And then what you can do is just pull off any excess and just wrap that loose piece around the stick. 
and then just roll it and then what we want to do is we want to create a nice flat top so go in from the top you see what I'm doing there mind your fingers and just really flatten that keep this end slightly loose because we're going to felt that into the pumpkin but we want that nice and flat and firm see how that's coming along and we can also roll it in our um, hands when we've done this just to smooth out the top and then just work down at a diagonal angle leaving this little bit here loose because we're going to attach that now you can um, work it a little bit longer than I have if you're not happy with the shape but I'm just going to pull that off and can you see we have a nice stalk I mean it does mine doesn't actually need really rubbing but this is what you can do just to smooth the edges and firm it and if you want it a bit longer as well that will also work and then what I'm just going to do is just go in from the top again flatten it a little bit more be careful with your fingers, you're working quite closely to the wall. Again, if you're a bit squeamish or you're, you're concerned about poking your fingers, then use a finger guard. And there we go. Can you see that? So we've got this loose bit here, which will actually be going into the centre of our pumpkin. Now, before I add that... I want to add some really pretty detail like so into the center so what I'm going to do here is I am just going to pull off a length of wool top I'm going to add a little bit of silk and just a little bit of these lovely fibers that I used for the stalk and then what we're going to do is just lay it on there get your needle or needles and just bring that all into the center and then what we're going to do is when we've um, added the stalk we will separate all those strands to create a really nice top layer it looks really decorative and I'm just going to pop a little bit more silk in there I think we'll go across there and because you you're blending this silk with the wool it will stick obviously it won't felt on its own but because you're using wool and I think I said but this is Tussa silk I think this is wild Tussa silk actually it's just a natural to set silk and then I think we'll just add a little bit more of that blended wool top pop that in there so just leave that as is for now we'll come back to that because what we've got here now we're going to pop our stalk in into the center in fact I'm just going to roll that I just want to make that a little bit longer because I've got quite, quite a deep dent in there and then just loosen that and pop it in and start one side felt it move it and felt all around the base you see what I'm doing there just so it holds it doesn't have to be overly felted just so it holds you, know, you can pick the the pumpkin up and there we go so that's our stalk done now I'm just going to lift these bits up if you wanted to um, silk thrusters waste 
creates a really, really pretty effect. And I've got some here. And it creates like this a sort of cobwebby, wintry look to it. And what you can do is just spread a little bit on there, like so, just in one section. Again, adds a little bit more detail. Can you see that? It's really nice. And just poke it in in a few places just till it holds. Just for that little bit of extra detail. And then before we play with all these, what I'm going to do is I've got these lovely beads here. And I really kind of want to, I just think it glams it up. Just makes it look so pretty. And you actually don't need to stitch this on if you don't want to. What you can do is just take a little bit of the, the carded wool, just pop it inside the bead there so it sort of holds and then Just gently felt either side and that will hold really nicely. And that's all you need to do with that. No sewing at all. And then finally, my favourite part is we twizzle. So we separate the pumpkin pieces, the, sorry, the um the strands that we've got on the top and can you see how twizzling with your fingers separates them and gives them much more detail all the different colors all the different textures I mean you can go mad with your colors you can add reds and you know different oranges and more autumnal colors But you can see how already that's making such a difference. Let's just go along here. You'll probably spend a bit more time than me doing this. I'm just going to pull off these loose ends. But your fingers and, and twizzling can create some really beautiful effects. Let me see how pretty that is. And obviously these beads add a little bit of glamour. And in less than 30 minutes, you have created a show-stopping centerpiece for your autumn winter displays and this like the winter pumpkins I did last year you can find the tutorial for those in the seasonal section I think on the playlist um I would just keep this up for Christmas I wouldn't take these down pumpkins are not just for for the autumn and you can bling it up or um, tone it down as much as you like. I would probably add just maybe just a little bit more colour in here. Just for contrast. But that is it. That is your fire and ice. Glamorous. Super easy. Stylish. Needle felted pumpkin. So I really hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. Make sure you subscribe down below if you want to get instant notifications of any new tutorials, which are quite regular. And if you want to order the wool bundle, that is also in the links down below. So have a great time making that. Send me photographs. You can send them to me via the website or any of my um, uh, social media channels, Facebook, Instagram and I will add your pictures to the community gallery. So thanks for joining me.